Intent has been the big focus of this sentencing phase of the trial. It's something that prosecutors must prove in order for the defendant to be eligible for capital punishment. On the other side, Robert Bauer's defense attorneys argue that severe mental illness should exclude him from receiving the death penalty. Throughout this week, we've heard testimony from medical experts who evaluated the defendant. Something forensic psychologists also consider is whether a person is faking mental illness for the benefit of their criminal defense, a phenomenon called malingering. Pittsburgh's Action News 4 spoke to a University of Pittsburgh doctor who says malingering happens all the time. It can be really tricky to discern, even for a trained forensic professional. Um, and it has a lot of implications when we think about issues about, you know, someone's been caught for a crime and now they're facing responsibility. And we can understand some motivation to uh, try to reduce some of that responsibility. To be clear, though, Dr. Richard Rogers, who evaluated Bowers, said several tests determined the shooter was not faking symptoms of mental illness. Rogers, who is an expert brought in by the defense, described the defendant in court as blatantly psychotic. Reporting from the federal courthouse downtown, Tom Garris, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.